So this is the idea. So mm, this is because it's human nature. I know you. If you have a problem, I will try to help you. Sure. I cannot help everybody. I don't sure. have enough time or enough resources to do so. Yeah. So I will focus on where I can make the most impact. Totally. So this is my vision of patriotism. What is different from what I just said? It's the same uh, on the concept. Okay. The only thing I was like, my problem is with the borders for sure. third world countries because we didn't choose. Like for me, there will not we do we sh we shouldn't have a Morocco and Algeria, Tunisia and Egypt. We should have like uh, new media. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, cool. So you are you are explicitly saying that you are totally against what I just said and I believe that I am totally against what you just said so we are like two uh, I mean this subject is really interesting I think yeah you see uh, the, like, we do have a lot of things very, in common yeah but there are some core things that, that we really totally different. disagree I mean uh, I cannot disagree more uh, especially with boy I do believe that we do have one country one flag and one you know one people even though I, I have been to Morocco Tunisia and I know that we share so many things that when I went there I mean I, I, what's I was the difference surprised. between someone who there's is in Iran different. and someone who is in like the city yeah, there's nothing like, different there is absolutely no freaking difference like these people we are more close than thing. me and the guy in Iran true, true. Yeah, of course, same true. thing with Anaba and Tunisia yeah, sure yeah. like what the hell um, I, I totally agree with that I mean as I told you uh, being patriotic, and when you go to the south sorry when sure, you go to yeah, the south like, to, uh, yeah. the people who are living in Tamil Rasset and the people that are from Mali there is no freaking difference yeah, it's the same in thing fact, no, in fact it's, they are the same people they are nomads who go from <laughs> this yeah. side of the border to the Just other before the borders I know that the borders have created a lot of you know m in problems uh, not only in Africa but even mm -hmm. you know in, uh, in Europe you know the thing between Germany uh, between uh, Belgium and uh, Netherlands you know the problems yeah. and the so I do believe that people should not be uh, should not really consider borders that much. But I do believe that we are in an era where you know the world is like shrinking and there are a lot of bad things happening and we're not like what we used to do like a few centuries ago. And that we uh, we should be focusing more on our resources and on what we can do because it's became difficult to uh, to try to please everyone and try to do good things everywhere. I do believe that we should be patriotic, but I do believe as well that we should respect love and deal with other people. I'm not saying that they should be different to, to deal with. I mean, Moroccan people are, as you said, they identify themselves as Berber, most of them like we do. Uh, same thing with Tunisia. And I, I think that we should just like focus on the country before focusing on other thing because I do believe that the country is something that is not, does not like really exist. But believing in it is something that can make people and motivate them to do great job because you know you can, you can achieve the same thing instead of focusing on the country, you focus on the city because it's even closer to you. Oh, I can, well, I, I plan to be president of the country, not only a mayor. And I yeah, do believe that even with what, more yeah, power, you can like, like get the, people together. Uh, the easier. concept of president is something that what? Yeah, I know. I mean, what well, they have always had kings, and they always even had, you know, the, like the king. I mean, uh, it's not like uh, something from World War Two or something. What so. what I would like to see, but it's like really yeah. Um, utopia, utopia. It's yeah, really, something that cannot be a really utopia, exactly. yeah, sure really far-fetched it's too good it's, to be true there is a book a uh, sci-fi book yeah uh, from uh, A.E. Van Vogt which is the word of the A with a bar on the A like the non-A yeah sure and the A states for Aristotelicism okay so it's the word of the non-Aristotelicism yeah, sure, yeah, sure. yeah. and the basic thought is that like Aristotle uh, put the concept of axioms sure like if you want to build something new, you have to build it with uh, on something that pre-exists. Yeah. Like we define the numbers, we define the language. These are axioms that yeah, exist, and, and you could, don't have to go back yeah. and work and on. How does it math? Axiom. Exactly. Yeah. It's that concept. Yeah. So and you build on this. Like we built uh, technology on previously built sure. other technologies. And, uh, uh, Turing and, and, and the non-Aristotelicists say this is not not real. It's just like, it's more complex, it's, it has more facets. The chair is not only a chair. The map is not the country. Like, the map is a representation of the country, but sure. you can also use it, use it to wipe your face with <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. the chair, you can sit way, on yeah. it, but you can use it as something to go up, you can use it as a weapon, you can use, you see? 
all its possibilities. This is like it's a more broader uh, concept. True, true. So, for example, Newton is an, uh, an Aristotelicist. Yeah. Because it was fixed. Yeah. But Einstein, no, he was a non Aristotelicist. Yeah, sure, sure. So, and in this uh, in, in this book, they had a society that that were that was governed by like a world president, but he has no other role than like being there. Yeah. Like. No power, no decision making. By the queen. All the decision, like like the yeah. British queen. You had a machine, like they call it the machine. Yeah, I think I uh, did. Uh, hear some and this machine this. is like every year, every year you have like the machine contest, and you go to this machine, you take a series of tests and exams, and it uh, uh, it spreads on sixty days, and when you fail, you go out like uh, one day, two days, three days. Yeah, sure. Till the sixtieth, sixtieth uh, day. And the more you advance, the more you have a great position, a great job, or anything. sure. Regarding like not only your intellect, like what you can do, how you think, everything is taken into yeah. account. So you, you will get like your status regarding the tests. And if you go to the 60th day, then you are eligible to go live on Venus. Uh, oh. If you take this and you compare it with uh, the the Marxism, in fact, Venus like was the symbol for uh, like the perfect life, where the 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 achievement of anarchy, but not anarchy in the sense like everything is fucked up. Yeah, anarchy in the like in the concept that. of every everyone knows his place and does well. True. Yeah. So there is nothing to say. Like I will not come to you and say you have to do this. You yeah. know what you have to do. Yeah. Sure. So, they terraformed uh, Venus and they made it uh, habitable, so the people uh, that live there. And our hero goes there and lives there. So, there is no police in this world, there is no uh, government in this world. Like, everyone is doing his job, his best, not because he's forced to, but because he likes to. And he knows from the machine, the machine proves to you that here is what you like to do and yeah, know yeah. well to do and everything regarding yeah, cool. your what makes you like it's something that will give you uh, self-awareness uh, in All a right. sense and you will have a happy life regarding this it's completely utopian of course but this is the kind of things that I want to achieve like I hate telling to people you have to do this like dude you see that I'm needing this and you your job is to make me this kind of thing. So why don't you what what I why aren't you doing it? Yeah. If you hate your job, just stop working and go find another job. You see? Yeah, sure. This is the idea. Well, um I don't know how to answer to that. I mean uh, in what part you think you disagree exactly with, with the part I was saying about um the uh patriotic thing, I mean about uh, 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 usually, this, yeah. Usually, if, if if you if you want to become a president, it means that you will represent every single person in our which country. Is, uh, which is the start is not very yeah. possible. You cannot in our country, you know, in Algeria, we are a freaking big melting pot with yeah. different languages, different cultures, different uh, exactly, approaches, different and all these people should be. Uh, so, what was the only thing that that, can gather that makes these people is a country? Yeah, and. It's an arbitrary thing regarding borders. Yeah. You well, see well, my problem? Well, uh, yeah, of course, yeah, sure. Mm. I mean, that, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, nobody ch had chosen to be Algerian. So maybe with some luck, he could have been So you have to rally all these people or just the majority of the people who yeah. voted, which is really small regarding yeah. everything. Yeah, uh, sure. So you see, the, the concept of democracy is rigged. Oh, yeah, it's because like, let's, not, let's not get into it. So, one, one of the executions that I admire is the Belgian one. Mm -hmm. Like, voting is not a right, it's a duty. Yeah. So you have to vote. Cool, well, that, that's a good idea. I mean, uh, yeah, you should be able to so, so realize that this. We know what you want, what you want. And the difficulty is that you have to explain to everyone, like, what is your, uh, what's your program and what, what I want yeah, to sure, do sure. and, yeah, and everything. Yeah, sure, sure.